Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we know what that means. With the new schedule, we have squad battle rewards that are going to be released this morning, not too long after this video is released. As well, it is the second Sunday of Ones to Watch, which means we will be getting a second mini release. Three more Ones to Watch cards will be in packs today. But I want to talk about those squad battle rewards, which are coming here pretty soon on this market. I want to talk how that could impact and even create a potential investment point, whether it be for a short-term flip or maybe for a longer-term hold with some of these Team of the Week cards as they go out of packs this next week. Talk about what that could do to the market because I know it seems like the Foot Champions playoffs and the finals and division rivals have been the key points of gameplay for a lot of people in the past week or so. But I think squad battles, again, is just a very popular mode at the beginning of the year because people are getting some objectives done in there and it's just another way to get rewards and it's pretty easy, right? It just kind of is like... Takes a little bit of time, but you can get some decent packs from Squad Battle. So I do think that is going to impact the market. And I, again, want to just talk about what is going on with this whole weekend league issue. We have red player picks that are still not available. If you're finishing your weekend league, wondering where those are, we did get a little bit more communication on those items yesterday and what's kind of going on with them. So let's take a look at that right off the bat right now. Again, EA FIFA Direct tweeted out again yesterday that they are still working to resolve the issue that impacted Foot Champions player pick rewards. They will look to provide updates when they are available. So, again, we are still waiting on updates for that. Hopefully that gets resolved today. Uh, this is a bit of an excerpt here from Dunas and Dragons, one of the devs. Uh, and he said that it is a top priority and that it is getting worked on. So... I know it's not happening yet. I know you guys aren't seeing your reds, but keep a lookout for the EA FIFA Direct account because hopefully they'll start to show up today. I mean, it would suck to see those not even be available as a lot of people will be getting their weekend league rewards, uh, not tonight, but tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow in the early morning, Sunday night into the Monday early morning hours when the weekend league rewards will be automatically re um, given out if you haven't finished all of your games already. But again, let's talk about squad battles and what is going on with this market. So again, squad battles impacted the market last week and I think it went under the radar a little bit, but what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a little bit of supply, right? We didn't have a lot of supply yesterday on Saturday with the promo packs. They just put, I think it was 25Ks in the store. It really didn't do too much, right? 25,000 coins packs, five of them. Now today on Sunday, last week, they dropped 25Ks and 35Ks. They might do some of the same today. I, I would expect to see 35K packs in the store today. And I want to talk about this mini release as well, because with these ones to watch cards from team number two, as you can see here in this little infographic on the foot screen, team two is only available until Wednesday, right? Team two is only available in packs until Wednesday. That means the cards that come into packs today on Sunday are only going to be in packs for literally three days. Monday, sorry, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And right as we start into Wednesday, 6 p.m., they will be going out of packs with all of the ones to watch chart cards. Again, I also want to confirm this just so you guys are all on the same page. A lot of people think that it is confirmed that ones to watch team one and team two cards will be back in packs. This is not confirmed. Again, the only thing that says team of team of the uh, wants to watch team one and two being in a pack is for the ones to watch pre-order pack content from October 13th onwards. If you've saved your ones to watch pre-order pack, that is when you'll be able to pack a OTW team one or team two player. But as of right now, there is nothing confirmed saying that wants to watch team one and team two will come back into packs together at the same time. That is not confirmed. Now it still could happen, but again, I just wanted to make this known because a lot of people are seeing this and thinking that it means the cards in packs. It only just means for that pre-order pack content, you're guaranteed ones to watch player pack. So I wanted to point that out as well. But today is our last chance to maybe see a Sancho, right? A Sancho ones to watch card. If EA is not going to give Sancho ones to watch, I think that's kind of crazy. But today on Sunday would be our last chance to see one of those. I think we are guaranteed to get a Furpo ones to watch today. I believe that was a confirmed item by Fabrizio Romano last week that we have not seen yet in 
this game. Now, speaking of wants to watch Team 2, these guys do keep dropping off a little bit. Again, Lukaku is a pretty rare card. Depay is a pretty rare card. Uh, Sabitzer actually scored a goal yesterday for the uh, Austrian national team. I think he was, his price rose up a little bit when that happened. He had a small spike here, like 22, 23,000 coins. But post game, he has kind of fallen off. Again, make sure you keep an eye on those, these international fixtures over the next couple of days as these players, these international games count for team of the week, right? They do count for team of the week. So make sure you keep an eye on those fixtures even today, tomorrow, into this next week for those next couple of games. Now, again, I skipped over it a little bit, but let's get back to squad battles, right? Because I think this is going to make some int interesting movements on the market literally today, this morning or late night uh, tonight for me, for NA time, if you're on that time zone or early into the morning, if you're on the UK time zone, right? Rivals or squad battle rewards are released at 9 a.m. UK time, right? Squad battle rewards Sundays, 8 a.m. GMT, which is 9 a.m. UK and basically what I think that's going to mean is I think you're going to see a graph that is going to act like this. Now, this graph is just an example. It's just a graph that I've seen and known. And I think it's going to make sense when you see prices this morning. You're probably probably going to see a quick dip and then a rebound on a lot of these higher tier meta cards. Goretzka is my example because last night he went down from like 145K for a quick hour time frame. He dropped like five, six, seven thousand 7,000 coins down to 138 and then he rebounded right back up to 150,000 coins. I think what you're going to see today with squad battles is basically that same thing. It's cards slowly dropping into those squad battle rewards, see a little bit of supply, and then they'll bounce back up into the daytime as people are still playing foot champs, not as many people, but people are still playing foot champs or they finish their foot champs. They're going back out to get their rivals games in or to play the champions playoffs to get themselves another entry into next week's um, weekend league finals, basically, if you will. So I still think there's some gameplay demand on Sunday that you will see a bit of a dip from the supply and then you will see a rebound. Now, again, if you're going to focus on it, buying cards in that dip today, what I would really focus on buying are these higher tier metas that are popular right now, right? Usman Dembele, uh, De Young. I think some of these, like a little Benzema Dembele, De Young triangle or a little link up is getting pretty popular right now with this Benzema player of the month getting a lot of hype and being a pretty decent value SBC at this stage um, in the game. And of course, some of your gold cards like LaCroix, right? Look look at these cards graphs. And if you see them bouncing around on an everyday basis, like LaCroix went from 21 to 24, then back down to 17, then back up to 21. If you're seeing these consistent bounces up and down on a gold card, that's a card that you want to be involved in when you're looking for squad battle rewards tonight. Holland's 22,000 coins, right? That is mad freaking cheap on Holland's card, right? He went down like all day on Friday. Last night, he went to 24K, rebounded to 27. Maybe tonight he hits 20,000 coins. He might rebound to 25, you know? So something like that is what I would be looking for today on the market in terms of gold cards. Kempembe is a really good one to look at. I think Militao is a pretty good one to keep an eye on. Kunde is one that is very popular that moves around a lot. Quadrado as the best right back in the Serie A. What did he do yesterday? Went to 14, all the way up to 17, back down to 14 again. Now he's 13,250. So, you know, you'll see the market dip off in this late night, early morning UK time frame as it usually does. And I think you're just going to see a bit of an extra dip with the squad battle supply and then a rebound after. Now, also, what that means is there's going to be a potential. And if you want to buy a card for your team, this is going to be more for like buy a card because we're trying to time the lowest point. I think the lowest point for some of these team of the week cards this week, especially some of the meta ones, is going to be tonight at Squad Battle Rewards, right? But also a lot of people are going to be thinking the same thing. So you want to be either buying ahead of time when you see a little bit of panic selling heading into rewards if it's there, and then also like right away at the start of rewards after they're released, right? Phil Foden, today on Saturday, he was actually at 88,000 coins sitting. He was down to 88K sitting right before the content drop. Content drop came, he went up to like 93K. Right now, he's just kind of chilling around 90. But with Foden, Sun, Jonathan David with has a very interesting price range right now. If I'm you, I'm not buying this card right now because he has a minimum price range of 21,000 coins. I could very easily see EA changing this minimum price range on Jonathan David to be like 10,000 coins, like most of the other informs have minimums of 10K. And this David card would drop down in price because of, I mean, he's literally at his 
low. He's at his minimum price at the moment. So I would steer clear of this Jonathan David. I know he has good League One links, but I'm steering clear because of that price range. I don't like that. I see him going down before he goes up, to be completely honest. But even a guy like Hyun Min Sun, 500,000 coins for an upgrade on his gold card at the moment, 509K he just was. That's the lowest that he has been. I would take a look. If you see Sun dropping 10, 20, 30,000 coins during that squad battle rewards time frame, which I think might be too much, but let's let's say he dips under 500. You see like a 485, right? That might be your lowest point for a Hyunmin Sun card in the next couple of days as we reach towards the end of this week and as we maybe see some of these cards go up because the supply ends, right? Usually team of the week cards are their cheapest on Saturdays or Sundays unless something crazy happens in the early part of the week. So if you're looking to get involved with a Hyunmin Sun, a Phil Foden, uh, maybe a Suarez for your team and also this Tonali card, right? Tonali looks really, really good. This might be a great opportunity today during squad battle rewards to pick up a Tonali somewhere around discard, maybe 11K if you can. Put one in the club, use it in your team. He's got great links with the Serie A being hyped up right now. I think that's a really good card. It basically discard, you know, with a couple more, you know, uh, Serie A hype cards released in the game or just some high rated reviews on this Tonali card, which I think are very, are going to be forthcoming very soon as this card is very nice. I do think that this card could end up being 17, 18, maybe even 20 K in the next week or two, just because he's a budget beast as an almost all around 80 rated card. He's, he's just missing the 80 rated stat in shooting and in defense, but looks like a great midfielder, a great CDM. So I kind of like those buys from the team of the week. You can also watch the ones to watch team and heroes, right? Keep an eye on your heroes because whenever there is supply on these cards, it gets interesting, right? You, these cards bounce around a lot. Like right now, Melito, 220,000 coins. That is really low for his card. Now, Melito isn't an item that really moves that much on the market anyway. He did, uh, but for some reason, his card just seems to be really supplied. Right now, he's sitting at 220. If I would find an undercut on Melito at like a two, I don't know, if somebody undercut this at like 210 or maybe 215, then I might get interested in a Melito and try to maybe flip this for like 235 at some point into the morning this morning on Sunday. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of the thing, right? You're going to be checking for undercuts on cards across this game during that time frame. Again, check the hero cards because these guys are still definitely in demand. Uh, but they're also still pretty rare. So like Morientes, he's right now 290,000 coins. Maybe this guy gets undercut at like 270, right at rewards because these cards, I think some people don't know how to value these hero cards um, because so many times after content, right? Like an hour after content releases, you see some of the fresh cards that people have packed through preview packs or opening promo packs on the weekend and they just relist them like 20 or 30K cheaper than their lowest price on the market and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, there. So that's kind of what I'll be looking for today. But if you're looking for a quick flip, again, I would really look at the gold cards, right? Last night, I showed you that, that graph of Goretzka, right? Last night when I was making the YouTube video, right afterwards, I looked at the market and I said, man, there's a couple cards that are really, really cheap. So I snagged five Goretzkas, I think it was, at 138 to 140,000 coins, sold them all at 155, grabbed two Marquinhos at 75, sold them at 83 and 84, got this Lacroix, I think at 17, 750. So just a couple K profit per card. But when you're buying cards, especially like Lacroix, or if you're finding somebody like Ben Yedder, Timo Werner, uh, Holland, right? If he would go up in price, you know, Kimpembe would be one. Militao would be one I would keep my eye on as well. If you're buying some of those cards on a lower tier budget and you're making two to three to four K a card and you buy like five, six, seven, eight of them, you drop a hundred thousand coins on five Lacroix uh, and boom, you're, you're making a nice little chunk of profit. So that's the kind of read you might be able to make um, today with squad battle rewards with a little bit of supply because people are going to get those rewards and go out and upgrade to some of these items uh, in their te teams because, again, these cards are so cheap compared to where they normally have been in past FIFAs that they're so much easier for people to upgrade to. Now, also, I want to talk about icons. Icons are a great place to be on the market right now. I got this Henri for a mil flat. Had a little bit of struggle selling him. He's not as high as he was late Friday night into Saturday, but I still am trying to get 1.08 and I hope that I can get that price overnight uh, tonight into Monday as he is a rare icon card. But I would sincerely be saying to look across the icon market, even with fresh listings up today with squad battle rewards and with 
you know, people that are selling cards after the weekend league. Again, it really seems like we don't have a structured weekend league sell off this year. It's just going to be like we saw last night on Friday night periods of downtrends and then periods of uptrends as people are just accustomed to selling their cards when they go to bed. We're talking UK time, the UK as it goes into the evening. I think I just think a lot of people are accustomed to this year selling their cards before they go to bed and then buying them the next day when they go to play, right? Because they're trying to minimize their losses by holding long long term because this market definitely does not support long term holds in any aspect. Um, of, of cards on this game, except for maybe icons or like out of packs, you know, in forms or whatever. So that's what I would say. It's right now on the, on the market, quick flips again, quick flips only, and just be very careful with this supply because it is, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting out here. It is very interesting, but you can still find these pockets of supply and pockets of panic selling. And then you can catch those and ride the wave up with some demand, uh, usually heading into like the morning hours into the middle of the day. UK time. So I think that can happen again today on Sunday. I really am not fearing a weekend league sell-off on most cards. What I'm really just waiting to see today is that little bit of a supply dip and then seeing things rise on upwards later into the day today on Sunday. Now we talk about content today again on Sunday. I'm really not expecting that big of a day, right? Last Sunday we had a 75 plus player pick or a player pack that was available, some kind of like small SBC that was available like this. A 75 plus rated rare player was available in the store uh, last Sunday. And then we had the new cards and packs. Really not expecting too much again today on Sunday as we have two new SBCs that were released on Friday. And then yesterday we had Friday on Friday we had Wynaldum and then yesterday we had Boadu, which in my opinion I don't really know if this card's gonna get upgraded. He would have been eligible for a featured upgrade before he had this ones to watch. I wish he wouldn't have even gotten a ones to watch because a featured upgrade on this card would be nasty. Give him a double upgrade and that could be sick. But it is a cheap SBC and if you wanna build up your league one side or get a green link to Ben Yedder or the new uh, Hullet, cheap Hullet as they're saying, Chow Many, uh, send it a minute from the team of the week, this discard value. For, uh, <laughs> if you need a link to that card, Here's your guy, but I, I really wouldn't expect an SBC today on Sunday. Uh, I really wouldn't unless it's a pack supply SBC. And I really don't know what to expect for objectives either because we've got Kamavinka and Cliver both expiring in three days, 14 hours. Basically, these objectives expire on Wednesday when the team is gone and done and out of packs. So Wednesday is a hard cutoff for ones to watch. And that is, you know, we learned this last year, right? When they end these promos on Wednesday, a lot of times what we see is there's something coming after that on the next Friday, like two days after that they're ending the promo early to get adjusted for. So maybe we'll have our second new, a second promo of FIFA 22 already coming, not like this coming Friday. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as things unfold, you know, loading screens, hype, panic selling, right? All of that stuff going to be involved along those lines. But it's just going to be an interesting day today on Sunday on the market. If they do kind of deviate from their plan from last week, We'll have a little bit of promo pack supply, of course, probably 35K packs in the store today. That's what I would imagine. Uh, but I wouldn't expect anything crazy for content. Maybe upgrade packs tomorrow on Monday. We will see what comes around when that happens. So again, watch your meta gold cards, your popular gold cards on the market today. Like we mentioned, watch for some price drops during that hour or so of the supply from rewards and also keep an eye on your informs keep an eye on your sbc fodder as well if it's something that you've been wanting to do maybe stock up a couple sbc fodder cards because the market in terms of sbc fodder has absolutely dropped off a lot as you see here index 84 down from 91 on thursday on to 73 points on the index might be a nice you know, little bit of a dip where you could get on some bids for some 83s, 84s, and 85s. I do expect another flashback SBC on Tuesday. We'll talk more about that because that happened last year too. So just going to be an interesting day on Sunday. I know the market to some people right now just feels tough. It feels pretty tough because there's not a ton of fluctuations on these gold cards because again, that supply is just overwhelming and the supply is just crazy. But again, you can still be trading with chemistry styles and with these chem style trading methods, as there's still people playing foot champs, playing games, right? You can see De Young right now is like 107,000 coins with a shadow. You know, you might be able to find an undercut for like 97K. You might be able to find a little bit of a snipe at 97K listed at 107 to 108, maybe 109. And since this is a popular card that a lot of people are buying right now to link together Usman Dembele 
and Benzema, you know, maybe you see this card actually go up in price a little bit and you catch a nice little upswing and you, you make some coins off of chemistry style trade. So you can definitely trade with that stuff, icons, heroes, gold card fluctuations. And I think that supply today is going to bring an opportunity to trade with some more cards. So again, make sure you look at the popular page on Footbin to find what cards you want to trade with. And again, maybe look at some of those informs today too as we see a potential slight rise on them um, and slight dip at the same time during that squad battle rewards time frame. So that's what we're thinking for the Sunday market today. Hopefully your guys' weekend leagues are going well and hopefully they get those foot champs picks sorted soon because I know a lot of you guys would love to see a red Sonaldo heading into your club. Not that it's going to happen to many people, but hopefully you guys get red Sonaldo, red Foden, uh, or you know even red Suarez decent card at this stage of the game. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.